With North Korea threatening a nuclear strike all the way to the U.S., a homegrown industry has been exploding as people scramble to protect themselves. Only on Five Tonight, Sharon Chin gives us a rare look inside modern-day bomb shelters. Outside the small scenic railroad town of Gallup, where historic Route 66 winds through western New Mexico, Roberta Griffin and her husband Fernando Munoz take us into their doomsday hideaway. A bomb shelter in case of a nuclear attack, 18 steps down, 21 feet underground. Roberta bought the $80,000 galvanized steel bunker when they moved from Southern California this year. All the situations going on around the world, I just had this little panic feeling. Here's a shower. Roberta and her husband could live with two other relatives for weeks or months in this 26 foot long shelter, outfitted with an air filtration system that's powered by an inverter or hand crank. She stored two years worth of freeze dried food under the floor. I feel at peace now. Now that I have it down here, I feel like so safe. It seems like a modern day gold rush right now. She's not the only one protecting her family. Ron Hubbard owns Atlas Survival Shelters. He makes and sells bomb shelters in Montebello in Los Angeles County and says okay. sales are skyrocketing. Six years ago, doing 10 or 11 shelters a year to doing close to 1,000 this year is a dramatic increase. Ron's waiting list three months. A third of his customers come from North Korea's neighbor, Japan, but many new orders are from California. We thought we were out of range of North Korea's missiles, but now we know we're not. So this is the bomb NATO. He says 20% of his California customers are in the Bay Area. Many prefer to keep it a secret, but this is the model of choice. This can go underneath a two car garage. This $20,000 shelter designed to protect five to six people. To dig the hole, it costs thousands of dollars more, and you'd need a permit. This is the foundation for one of the shelters. In fact, Ron says he's getting so many new orders that he's had to open a 400,000 square foot warehouse in Texas. But today's shelters are a step above those of the Cold War era under President John F. Kennedy. This is the smallest shelter I make. Ron's $10,000 fall NATO is like a bank vault installed inside a garage or home. It's wheelchair accessible with space for bunk beds, a toilet, food, and air filtration. At the other end of the spectrum, comfort and convenience. Ron says a San Diego family bought this $110,000 solar or generator powered bunker to shelter for a year. It's like a two bedroom apartment. You might as well just sit back in a leather couch. Watch a big screen TV. Roberta's made her hideout homey, adding running water, Wi Fi, and even a bread maker. It's become a retreat for the retired aircraft mechanic. This is my girl cave. But in a nuclear strike, her bunker may become a target for many who have no such protection. The only people I have to worry about now are my neighbors. So, what are you going to do? Well, if they try to come, I'm going to have to do what it takes. A price she's willing to pay for her home safe home. In New Mexico, Sharon Chin, KPIX 5. Well, even though a growing number of people are buying bomb shelters, radiation experts say you really don't need them. Why not? They say a nuclear detonation is far more survivable than many people actually think. 